Well, did you know from a forensic level that you can tell absolutely the difference between paper here in the United States or paper that was made in China? There's different formulations, different inks, even different fibers. And on our systems, we're able to tell every one of these. But the bottom line is really simple. Regardless of the side you're on, this is no longer about the president. This is no longer about parties. This is only about you as a citizen. Will your vote count going forward? Pulitzer, who created QR code Scan to Connect and helped pioneer fixed dial-up internet, switched gears after election night. He says when he saw the ballot count spike for Biden on election night and heard of witnesses testifying about masses of mail-in ballots with no folds, he was moved to create technology to check the authenticity of a ballot using a forensic scan. Checking the folds is part of the forensic inspection. Pulitzer explains the technology can also detect the kind of ink used to mark the ballot. All of these have unique IDs, but you, the one that was done by a machine, because their printing dynamics are completely different, sticks out like a sore thumb. Here is a fake squiggle by a computer. Even though they could try to come up with fake squiggles by a computer, the one on the right, you still see the artifacts left over by it being a simple printing mechanism. All of these can be easily decoded. He says he's working with litigators to potentially do these forensic scans in many of the contested states where some suspect fraudulent ballots were counted. But the first step will be right here in Georgia. So we're hoping to get this done Tuesday or Wednesday uh, unless we get blocked by either the county or the, or the court. And Favorito says if the court dismisses the case, they are prepared to take it all the way up to the highest court. Melina Weiskup, NTD News.